Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read one of my favorite books, Tech. And I know some of you have heard it before, but you know what? You can always hear a great book more than once. So here's my book, Tech. T-E-K. By Patrick McDonald. We're going to open it up right here, and we're going to put in the password T-E-K. Turn the page, and then T-E-K again for tech, and Patrick McDonald is the name of the author. Once upon a time, way back, a long time ago, or maybe yesterday, there lived a cave boy named Deck. Now, in this point of the story, boys and girls, when you see me point, I want you to go, ugh, for a caveman sound. Here we go. Tech was pretty much your typical troglodyte child. Yes, he did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. All cave boys lived in caves, of course, but the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his, even when his friends came to visit. Hi, Tech. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tech's cave, making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Tech stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet, and his game box all day, all night, all the time. Beep, boop, pop. You should have never invented the internet, Tech's mom grunted to Tech's dad. Beep, bop, bip. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. Boop, bop, beep. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them as a whatchamacallitosaurus, a who's datasaurus, or a flying I don't give a dactyl. The hours, days, and months were slipping by. Boop, beep, bop, boop, beep, boop, boop. There's a lot of sounds there. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know that it is not a healthy situation, said his best friend Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. Tech's parents tried everything to pry him away from his gadgets, but Tech wouldn't budge. I need to light a fire under that boy's butt, grumbled Tech's dad, except I haven't invented fire yet. Boop, boop, bop. No one could get Tech's attention, not even the tribe's grand poobah, his high muckety mucks, nor Darla O'Duddy and her dinosaurs for a better tomorrow all seemed lost until beep boop bop. Big Papa, the village volcano, had an idea. He could make fire. He could shake things up big time. So Big Papa popped. Oh boy, look at that over there. All the dinosaur friends went up. Batteries going down. The eruption shot Tech and his phone, tablet, and game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun, and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a ginkgo tree, a hairy elephant, and of the hairy people in an awesome, awesome asaurus. The big, beautiful world. Sweet! Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend Larry. On his way, he kissed his mom and dad. Ugh! groaned his dad. I need to invent shaving cream. Tech hopped onto a wheel, plucked a fresh apple, whistled to a dodo bird. <whistles> Hello, Tech, and surprised his sleeping friend. Beep. Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in that summer of 
sorry, that sunny garden. And in the evening, they reached for the glorious stars. Won't you come out to play? And that was tech. Hopefully you are reading lots and hopefully you are getting outside and playing and exercising and helping around the house and being safe, responsible, and respectful. Take care. We miss you. We'll see you soon.